And you need some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted. Make sure to check out my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to head over to Buy Madden Coins and use code Poodle at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video guide. And today, we got something pretty cool. So, we got some news over on the stream. Now, we've been talking about this for quite a bit, something that we've been wanting for most of the year. Now, this specifically, what they did is not something that we were requesting, but it's pretty cool, actually. Now, what I mean by wanting, we've been wanting new power-ups for quite a while. Now, this is pretty much just a little intro to the new power-ups we're going to be getting, but they did something actually really cool with something that I didn't think they'd actually do. So, you know, some surprising content's always, always interesting. So, pretty much, we've been wanting just some new power-ups for, like, I don't know, guys specifically, they don't have them. But let's say, like, Champ Bailey. He had a power-up, obviously, but he comes out, 99 overall, really good stats. But you're like, I wish he had a power-up. So, there's some players like that in the game. So, we've been waiting for guys like that, but... They went a slightly different route with this, which is fine because what they did was pretty cool. And they did say that this is just the beginning of some expansion packs. So maybe they will be dropping some other new power ups in the future. But we did get, I have some screenshots to show you guys. Now, pretty much the way this expansion pack is going to work, what they pretty much said in, in essence was that there's certain guys that EA had the rights to that they never really used this year. So they figured, why not do this? So what they're pretty much doing is they're going to be letting, giving, dropping power-ups of these guys that they had the rights they never used, except you don't need to buy their card. You just get their power-up, and you can power them all the way up to a 98 overall. So imagine, like, imagine a guy like, uh, who's the guy with the rights? So let's say Terry Bradshaw. They drop a Terry Bradshaw power-up 78 overall. Now, usually you have to buy, like, his, his base card, his ultimate legend card, and all the way up to power him up. Now there's no ultimate legend card, there's nothing. It's just a power-up card. You can power him all the way to a 98 with just training. Which is pretty cool because that usually saves you a lot of coins because then you don't got to go ahead and buy the cards and spend the training. So pretty much you're going to be able to get a 98 overall straight off the bat if you have enough training to do it with these guys. And especially because it's unreleased players, that means we're going to be getting some new faces into the game. Now we do have screenshots of the players and some of their stats to show you guys. I'm pretty excited for this whole thing. I think it's going to be pretty cool. Especially if they have some other players that they have rights with they never used. Now what they said was pretty much they want to use these cards in themed diamonds, but they never really um, somehow fit them in. Don't know how, that's, how that even works, but... It is what it is, guys. But before we get into today's video, make sure to below, hit that subscribe button, turn that new Noti Bell, boys. New Noti Bell. Turn on the Noti Bell, boys. Come on, join the family. Comment down below if you guys have any questions about this expansion promo. I'll get to every comment, especially on a video like this where you guys might be confused. And make sure to give this video a big thumbs up, as always. And guys, let's head over to the screenshots and check everything out. Players, Sean Phillips, Navarro Bowman, Nate Burlinson, Corey Schlesinger, Cordell Stewart, and Jason Elam. Now, here's the thing. Jason Elam, Schlesinger, and Phillips already had power-ups, but... I'm not entirely sure like exactly the purpose behind it, but what I do know is these cards have also been increased as well, and I'll explain in a second. So pretty much themed diamond cards that can be powered up. I don't know if they're just doing Sean Phillips, Corey Schlesinger, and Elam, but pretty much you can power them up to 98s as well. So Corey Schlesinger, I actually have him on my team. I have him, he's 89 or whatever, 88 fullback. I can now power him up and then again get him to 98. So Corey Schlesinger can reach 98. I'm assuming it's the same thing with Sean Phillips. Cordell Stewart actually is a new one. I don't believe he ever had a power up when they dropped his out of position limited time for Christmas. Jason Elam, the kicker as well. And then Nate Burlinson and Navarro Bowman are the two new players I was talking about. So Nate Burlinson and Navarro Bowman, pretty much EA had the rights to these cards and they actually never used them. They were supposed to be in Theme Diamond 2, never did it. So they kind of wanted to give us a little fun way to get them. Now, some people said this was no. Navarro Bowman's cool. I like Navarro Bowman. I don't think that's an L at all. I think it's interesting and this can lead to more things. Maybe like in two weeks, they'll do another expansion drop and they'll drop a bunch of players they never had rights to. Or they had rights that they didn't use, or they would just start expanding on players that, like, let's say, a good example of this would be cool for guys who never really got the cards that they should have got. So let's say, a good example, maybe Le'Veon Bell. Let's say you guys don't like Le'Veon Bell's last card, or a guy who actually who's a lower overall card. I, I can't even think of one right now. Like, guys, it's hard because Madden usually gets around to getting most people cards. Let's say before Zeke got his golden ticket and his new one, he was like a 92 Redux for a while. Maybe they just give him a Redux. And they let you get him to 98 and that's it so any team could really start getting players they like they could add this option to a lot of power-ups to get them up all the way which at one point would be kind of annoying because then what would be the point of buying cards if everyone just had an option to get them up but for some cards it could be cool but nate burlinson seattle seahawks guy navarro bowman gonna be super cool now let's go check out these screenshots of stats and some of the other stuff you guys can see schlesinger and his upgrade stuff right here as you can see you can get him all the way up but let me get the better screenshot for you guys so tier 11, now if you bring well up to tier 11, 32,000 trading or an item. Now the item is going to be your power pass. You can actually power pass their 98 one also as well. Up to you if you want to do that, but the training option does not seem too bad with the price of trading at this moment in time. But pretty good looking card here. 
Gonna be able to use the 98, which sucks they don't get 99, so they don't get the four abilities. But still pretty cool, especially if you're like, I have Schlesinger on my team. So I am, I'm honestly thinking about it. I might actually just go on ahead and power him up and just drop it in 32,000 training. Because they do have him already. So honestly, that really wouldn't be that bad. And as you can see here, you can also use your power pass. Now, I believe it said you can use a 97 or 98 power pass, which is pretty cool that you use both. But maybe you could waste your 97, but maybe 98 I'd save for something else because there could be some pretty expensive 98s that I'd rather use than guys who are confirmed training prices. Like that's probably training wise 180,000. Now, guys, could training go up a lot tomorrow? It's possible. Like, when, and by the way, it drops tomorrow. But when uh, when Navarro Bowman drops, if he has good stats, and people, some people love Bowman, some old school 49er guys. Oh, well, I'm not that old school, but. People like that could really go all in on training. People who want to just try this out. If they even expand this further, training could really go up. So guys, definitely do not be binder cleaning just yet. Check out if the training goes up as well as for positional heroes. Next screenshot, we got Nate Burlington. Now he's actually a little more expensive. I don't know if it's because he's a wide receiver, he's a fullback, or like the last upgrade, like at 95, a little bit cheaper. Not entirely sure. Also, Schlesinger has an 89. Nate Burlington goes straight with power training. So maybe that's why he's more expensive. But X Factor, three abilities, chemistries, you know, all the all the stuff. The only thing I have with this card, I wonder if the card is gonna be nasty, like if there's not gonna be any good front art options because he's only a power up and doesn't have any other cards. That's the only downside of these cards, but other than that, 96 speed, 97 catching, not a bad card, can still get to 99 speed with Sprinter and John Madden. But 41,000 training is a lot, but let's say it still goes for like six coins per, not even, I think it's like going for like four or five coins per. You can honestly get this card for anywhere between 120,000 and 180,000 worth of training but that is just the last upgrade there might be another one so this card's probably gonna cost between 150 and 300k depending on how much you get the training for and how much they cost but the, the beauty of it though is that you have to remember that typically let's say you buy 98 over ultimate legend for like 250k so then power them up you gotta buy the power up spend the training and then buy the card it ends up being like 450 500k these cards don't need the card so all you're paying for is the power up so you kind of actually save some coins here if you really think about it in that sense you're going to pay like the price of a 98 but you're going to have them powered up which means you get all the abilities and all the chemistry and everything which is kind of a benefits all of this in my personal opinion but nate browns are looking pretty solid now they don't have stats on navarro bowman which does kind of suck i was really looking forward to seeing navarro bowman stats but sadly, they did not actually go ahead and show them. They said that they don't have the uh, screenshots today. They'll be showing them tomorrow. When this does drop, so still, we're going to be seeing it tomorrow. Still pretty cool. Will I power up Navarro Bowman? Maybe, guys. I really do like Navarro Bowman. Always was a fan of him when he was playing. Kind of sad when he retired. But at the same time, it, I, hope they just get, I hope they don't do him dirty on his speed. Like, at least give him, like, a 93. 93 speed's perfect. 93 speed's what I want. Not even 92. Because I can then, he's powered up. You can get him up to like 2 plus with Sprinter, 94 plus John Madden, 95. It's doable. And I, I probably wouldn't use him anyways. I'd probably leave him out there to be like a run stuffer and let him play out in zone. But even if not, if he's fast enough, I will use him. Nate Brown's who I pick him up. Probably not. There's too many good wide receivers at this point. But middle linebackers, we can definitely use a Navarro Bowman in there. Like you get, and especially when the new Willis comes out, we get an Ultimate Legend Willis maybe and Navarro Bowman together. Be a nasty duo. I'm really excited for all that, honestly. Now this is just the beginning, right? So we got we got the expansion. It's pretty much just an expansion pack on Theme Diamond two cards that didn't get all their upgrades and Theme Diamond cards, and then also cards who were supposed to be released. That's pretty much all this is right now. Will there be new power ups? I kind of hinted at it. We'll probably get like a bigger power drop in another date, but for now this is pretty much just an expansion. But let me show you guys Cordell Powell, Cordell, Cordell Patterson. I should say, sorry, Nate Burlinson's stats in the back of the card here. A 98 overall, six feet tall, Nate Burlinson, 98 overall wide receiver. He's got 96 speed, again, gets 99. 98 jumping, it's gonna be 99. 97 catching, gonna be 99. 93 catching traffic, kinda low. And if I spec catch a little bit low, those cards chemmed up and everything, probably gets like a 95, nine, and then spec catch probably like a 97. And then his route running, he's gonna have a 99 medium route, probably a 96 short route, and like a 93, 94 deep route. Cards honestly not insane. I mean, I personally wouldn't use it. I'd rather just have my Calvin or my Tyree Kill or any of my other receivers I have. But the, Na the Navarro Bowman, though, because this is a wide receiver, obviously. We're going to be picky with those. But when it comes to, like, a Navarro Bowman, could be super cool. Kind of excited to get that card. Hopefully, hopefully, like I said, Navarro Bowman solid and we get to use him properly. And as of tomorrow, this is all dropping. Remember that. So don't be checking for this now. We'll be dropping tomorrow. But I'm really excited because this could lead to a lot more things in the coming months of the final, you know, the, the end game months of Madden. Give us a lot more options that we don't have currently. That's about it for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did enjoy today's video, make sure to below. Hit that subscribe button. Turn that on to boys. Come join the family. Make sure this video a big thumbs up as always. And if you haven't already, comment down below. Let me know what you think. Ask any questions you have. And smash the like button, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm out. Peace.